Hello again, the lovers of Talk Blue. Thank you so much for keeping it Talk Blue. Now, this is a moment that we come to realize and talk about what is happening around Chelsea because things are not good. Anyway, so tomorrow, that is on Wednesday, 2nd November 2022, we'll be playing our return match against Dynamo Zagreb. How are you prepared for this match? Having in mind that we lost our way to Brighton. Zagreb is not like Brighton. Whatever happened last week happened. There was, a, you know, it was a very big disappointment. But let's talk about um, news uh, that came in about our injury updates. I'll be taking you through what is happening around our injuries. Uh, I'm talking about Wesley Fofana. I'm, I'm talking about uh, Koulibaly, Rhys James. They are all sidelined. They all they all have been having injuries. Well, let's get into it. <clears throat> so we all know that yes, we have qualified in the Champions League. So we we, we definitely are through to the uh, next round. That is the round of sixteen. But we have this match that is um, ahead of us. That is tomorrow. How are we prepared? How are we prepared? Now listen. We have issues, we have injuries that has costed us. We have some good news. Uh, so, Koulibaly is back in the training, has been training all this, uh, you know, after the, the, the Brighton match. And we are expecting to see him in the lineup tomorrow against Dynamo Zagreb. Uh, remember, he missed the past three matches uh, because he picked a knock against Brentford. Uh, that is last month. Missing him was a big blow to Chelsea because in the last 11 matches he has played, this man has proven to be one of the best centre-backs because this season he has managed to you know, have six clean sheets in 11 matches. You can understand. So we really miss this guy. So Wesley Fofana has also reportedly you know, come back to a training. He has been training with, with Chelsea for the past few days. Rhys James, there is uh, there's still issues, uh, but definitely we have news that uh, Rhys James and Wesley Fofana have been away out of England trying to, to train and I mean um, to get medication. Uh, to get rehabilitated because their injuries are, you know, are big and they could have been an issue if uh, not, you know, not if they couldn't receive enough attention. So this is um, some good news to us because Kulibadi is back, but we don't know when Rhys James will be back. But we have Thiago Silva uh, who is there. We have Kukurea. We have Chaloba who is doing great. So I don't know. How do you predict this match, Chelsea versus Dynamo Zagreb, even if we lose? But definitely, you have to remember that we cannot afford to lose this match because, you know, it will be a double loss. So we cannot afford to lose that match. So tomorrow, there will be a very big day at uh, Stanford Bridge uh, from 11 p.m. East African time. And that is how things will be uh, going. So tell me about your prediction in the comment section. I feel we'll win 2-1 because we will have to concede. We have to concede. We will concede one goal. So 2-1 for me. Tell me what you think. And thank you so much for listening and watching Talk Blue. Let's do this some other time. We will be doing some breakdown about this whole game. Chelsea versus Dynamo Zagreb. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And please comment, share, and above all, make sure that you keep it. Thank you so much. 